Let's talk about angels, heaven's deputy. Did you know that 68% of Americans agree that angels and demons are active in this world? 68%. Now I know that's a fact because of what's on television. There are, there are the angels of heaven that serve God and then there are the fallen angels. There's the kingdom of God and the kingdom of this world. And when you watch the kingdom of this world, when you watch television and you watch their media, their outlet for communication, they are very dedicated, very committed to communicating, to encouraging their fallen angels. How many times do you turn on television and you're just amazed at the demonic uh, movies and, and the, the series that you see on TV now? They're, so, they're, they're, they're promoting demonic activity every week. They are constantly acknowledging fallen angels. The world talks more about demons than the church does about angels. The world has a better understanding of demons than we do of angels. They're not afraid to talk about demons. They're not afraid to deal with darkness. They're not afraid to have movies and series on television that deal with darkness and demonic activity. They're not afraid of it. They're not ashamed. Psalms chapter 103, verse 20, bless the Lord, you, his angels, who excel in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. You see, they're heaven's deputy. We serve the God of the angel army. We know this through Psalms 46, 7. The Lord Almighty is with us. That word there, the Lord Almighty is Jehovah Sabaoth, or the God of the angel armies. We sing that song by Chris Tomlin. He is the God of the angel armies. We have angels that have been deputized. They're following the orders of the God of the angel armies and they're on planet earth trying to help you and I. But for the most part, we've ignored them. For the most part, we don't understand their function or their purpose. For the most part, we're, we're not even aware when they step into our presence. For the most part, we're not cooperating with them. We're not partnering with these angelic beings that have been sent by the God of the angel army to serve and to help us, for the most part. The world does a much better place, or a, a much better job at presenting their fallen angels. We, we're just not very good at it. For some reason, we're afraid of it. We just, we're not sure how to handle these, these angelic beings that God has given to help us, the God of the angel armies. Number one, you have to know that these angels deal with warfare. Psalms 35, fight against those who fight against me and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Let the angel, how many has ever been in a fight? A fight, fight against those Lord who fight against me. Dispatch your angels, your deputies, and make and, and may those deputies chase my enemies away. Listen guys, here's the fact. Here's the fact of the matter. What they start, God's gonna finish. Yeah, you need to get that in your spirit. You need to step into this understanding of angelic beings and realize that what they start, God's going to finish. God, you fight against those who fight against me and release your angel. Let them run them out of town. Warfare. Do you understand angels are involved in warfare? I want you to understand that they're involved. In, this can change your life. You're fighting battles you don't need to fight. You're fighting alone when you don't have to fight alone. You have angelic assistants that are under orders. They're ready. They're ready to engage, but they're waiting on you and me. First of all, they're involved in warfare. Number two, they're there to protect. Psalms 91, evil can't get close to you. Harm can't get through the door. He ordered his angels to guard you wherever you go. Evil can't get close. Look, but now remember, Jesus said, according to your faith, so be it. You've got to activate this stuff. You've got to engage. Evil, you, you, by faith, you've got to declare evil can't get close to me. 
harm can't come through my door. He ordered his angels to guard me wherever I go. I've told you a hundred times, when I get up to pray, I walk through my house and I declare that my home is a sanctuary because Isaiah said he puts a canopy over his sanctuary. I, I declare that there are angels encamped around my home. I put the blood over my doorpost. I declare that God's watching over my family. He's watching over my babies. He's watching over my grandchildren. He's watching over my everything that I am, everything that I own. He's watching over me. I declare that. I declare it, no pestilence will come near my dwelling. No premature death. Too many Christians have died prematurely because we're not engaging, because we're not taking authority. You keep sitting around in your passivity waiting for something to happen and you can die in your passivity. You better wake yourself up. You better stir yourself. You better climb out of that bed. You better get out from under them sheets and walk through your house and declare that no evil will come near me. No harm will come through my door because my God has dispatched his angels to watch over and guard me. Your family depends on it, sir. Your family depends on it. Stop trying to force. Try, stop trying to force what your guardian angel is trying to resist. Stop trying to force relationships. Stop trying to force activities. There's been times that I've tried to do something. I've tried to do something. I've tried to do something and I couldn't get it done. And I tried, and, 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 and there have been times in my past when I felt resistance and I didn't back off. And it cost me dearly. But through the years I've learned, I've learned when I feel resistance, when I feel, I say, I'm taking my hands off of that because what I'm pushing against may be my guardian angel saying, Randy, don't do that. Randy, don't do that, leave that alone. I've had situations, I promise you, I promise you that it brought harm to me and others because I encountered resistance and I felt it and I thought, what in the world? And I tried again, I thought, man, there's something here. I, it's just stopping me and I, and, I, and I wouldn't let go of it. And, and, and then suddenly I push on through and then something happens, tragedy strikes. And I realized I messed that one up because my guardian angel was trying to stop me. He's trying to stop me, trying to keep me from pushing. And if I would have just paused long enough to listen to him, if I would have paused long enough to pray something through, he could have showed me but I wasn't aware of an angelic presence. We operate in ignorance so much. So my, my point is, when you are, 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 are encountering resistance, then guys, just let it go for a season and see it may be your angel. When an angel of the Lord takes a stand, he will establish territorial authority. You let an angel walk into a room under commandment with the delegated authority of the God of the angel armies, he can position himself and he can establish territorial authority. They bring deliverance. So I want you to understand that these beings that were created by God, they're involved in your warfare, they are there to protect you and your family, and they are there to bring deliverance. You need to learn to cooperate with them, not pray to them, not worship them. You need to learn to pray to God to release his angels so they can come into your world and fight for you, protect you, and bring deliverance where you need it. Now, these guys have been deputized. They have a restraining order. They can restrain the enemy. They have power. You need to realize that. They have jurisdictional authority. And I'll show you that here in just a minute. That's important you know that because Ephesians 4, 27, Paul said, do not give place to the devil. The word place there in the Greek means a spot, a position, territory, an opportunity. Don't give place to the devil. Don't give up your position. 
Don't give up your territory. Don't give up your opportunities that God's giving you. Listen, guys, you can't defend a territory that you do not know is under your jurisdiction authority. If you don't know you've got territory, you can't defend it. If you don't know the authority that's, that God's given you, if you don't know the territory that God has given you, then you don't know what to defend. You got more stuff than you realize. You got a spot, you got a position, you got territory, you've got opportunity, you have influence, you have authority, but you have to operate in that authority. That's why I'm always pushing on you men and you ladies, it's gender neutral, but I'm pushing on you to step into your home and be the priest of your home and say, this is my spot. This is my position. This is my territory. This is my place. This is my, the, the sphere of my authority and you're gonna back off of my family. Listen, you need to take authority over your family, over your business, over your church, over your city, over your region. You've got to learn how. The church has got to learn how to be an apostolic center and be a people that will rise up and say, this is our stuff, okay? You have to be careful that you don't get caught up in chasing after angels because the Bible says he comes as an angel of light and you can get deceived, amen? But that doesn't mean that we're not sensitive to their presence. That doesn't, that, that doesn't mean that we don't uh, anticipate angelic assistance. We're, we're people that are learning to be sensitive to their presence and we're watching just to see what they might do. We know they've been dispatched as deputies to serve God's people. Angels, or excuse me, individuals have an angel. Matthew 18, be careful that you do not corrupt one of these little ones, for, I'm sh for I can assure you that in heaven each of their angelic guardians have instant access to my heavenly Father. We all believe that there's a guardian angel assigned to each person. I believe that there are angels that watch over churches, especially apostolic centers. I believe there are angels that war in the heavenlies over a city or a region.